Hi, we are here in Ricky Skagg studio with mandolin and fiddle player Andy Leftwich. Andy's about the hottest young player around. He is a much in demand session player, member of the Three Ring Circle, and the Grammy Award winning Ricky Skaggs and Kentucky Thunder. So, Andy, tell us how you got started playing music. Well, my father got me into music when I was six years old. He had a friend of his that uh, would come over and play the fiddle, mm -hmm. and uh, somehow they lost contact with uh, work or something. Uh, so, my dad went out and bought me a fiddle and uh, taught me Bile and Cabbage Down. Mm -hmm. And we were jamming by that night and just had a great time and I uh, just remember loving getting to play to my dad's rhythm guitar yeah. and just, uh, you know, he had such great sense of timing and was very uh, key for me to growing up, uh, sure. you know, to play music. Um, I was seven when he took me to my first fiddle lesson and, uh, and loved it, you know, and, and I, I stuck with that and, uh, and then he took me to the Smithville Jamboree uh, Beginner National Championship yeah. and, uh, and just loved competition and loved being around people that played uh, the same instrument I did at my age. It yeah, was pretty yeah. cool. So, uh, and just uh, stuck with it. Um, you know, he uh, took me to uh, a guy named Craig Duncan that mm -hmm. I highly revere and he's one of the, the greatest uh, violin uh, fiddle guys around. and, uh, and he actually introduced me to Mel Bay and uh, had several books on Mel Bay that were very key for me and, and just ended up uh, learning so much from Mel Bay and Craig Duncan more so than anybody else and I just uh, really give Craig a, all the credit you know for my career and just uh, uh, having the opportunity to get to, to play music for a living. So. Tell us the story about how Ricky asked you to be in his band. Well, that was a pretty unforgettable night for <laughs> me. I uh, was invited to come up to Louisville, I'm sorry, Lexington, mm -hmm. Kentucky, and uh, and just hang out with the boys and just maybe pick a little bit during sound check. And so we did that, and he asked me to play during the show. And luckily, he called off songs that I was familiar with. And uh, and just you know, at the end of the night, we got called back for an encore, and just the crowd was going nuts, and <laughs> just. A uh, whole new experience for me, but uh, anyway, I uh, was shocked when he asked me to join his band on stage in front of everybody oh, wow. right before we played the last tune. So, wow. and I uh, was very, uh, you know, I was thinking to myself, is this is he for real? Is this <laughs> just part of the show? Is sure. he trying to get a rise out of the audience? But, uh, but uh, the greatest thing that he said to me uh, later that night, we got back on the bus, and I just wanted to confirm it, and just say, man, are you, uh, you know, do you really want me to join? And and he said, the coolest thing to me, he said, yes, sir. He said, we've been praying for you. Mm -hmm. And that meant the world to me. And I just thought, man, I melted. Yeah. You know, it was yeah. really cool. So, um, and just, uh, you know, immediately just, uh, you know, had a great relationship with Ricky from the very beginning and uh, love him a lot. <laughs> Well, I know you have a brand new website. Tell us about it. Well, I'm very excited. It's a long time coming. Uh, we actually do own andyleftwich.com, and it's still under construction. Mm -hmm. uh, but I uh, have big plans for it. I definitely want to, um, you know, keep a blog and be able to keep up with uh, certain people that I meet on the road. Sure. And 
And uh, one of the big things, I have a lot of people ask me if I have any teaching tutorials or, or any kind of video, yeah. and so we want to do some stuff like that and, and uh, put that up on the website and, and just, um, you know, basically run a business on a website if possible. That's so, uh, looking forward to that. Well, since we are here in Ricky Skagg Studio, tell us about recording here. Well, it's an experience. Uh, one of the, uh, the, my opinion, the best studio in Nashville. <laughs> it's uh, uh, Ricky has um, collected vintage microphones for years, mm -hmm. and uh, he's got incredible uh, uh, mics to choose from. Great gear, always top of the line, and. Um, just a great spirit about it, you know. I think uh, God's really blessed Ricky in this place, and um, some incredible music's been recorded here. And I just feel blessed every time I'm in here. So, okay, I'm going to show you uh, an ending lick uh, to any fiddle tune in key of G that I learned from Bobby Hicks. It's one of my favorite ones to use, and uh, I'll demonstrate it for you. Basically what we're doing is we're using the parallel fifths for our scale and uh, Chubby Wise used to use a lot of that in the Bluegrass Boys and we'll, um, we'll break it down for you here pretty slow. One, two, three, four. We just use the G scale uh, starting right here with that double stop and then we use uh, our first finger to note both the A and E string and then open and then just walk it straight down from the G note on the D string. And uh, that's pretty full sounding ending lick to the end of a fiddle tune in the key of G and um, hope, uh, hopefully you'll be able to turn some heads with that one. So tell us about some of the future projects that you're working on. Well I'm actually really excited to be uh, working on our new three ring circle CD with mm -hmm. Rob Ikes and Dave Pomeroy yeah. and uh, uh, Dave Cinco is engineering and, uh, and just basically he's the fourth musician of the trio. He's incredible. <laughs> I love working with uh, Dave Cinco. Um, we are uh, five tunes into it. We've still got probably five or six more tunes to cut. Really excited about the material and uh, it's just so different and just it's so much fun to play music that's really you know created there on the spot and yeah. uh, you haven't heard before so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that and uh, excited about that. Does it have a title? I think we're gonna call it Brothership oh, okay. and that's uh, a name that kind of popped up in a uh, uh, a prayer that we actually <laughs> we said before a show and uh, and I uh, just th thank the Lord for the brothership that we had in yeah. three ring circles so we had a uh, I think that name kind of stuck so well Andy thank you so much for sharing with us today and thank you Ricky for inviting us into your studio mm -hmm.